Hey, third graders, it's Miss Sensley, and I am back today with some academic vocabulary. We started yesterday with some science vocabulary for the science unit on matter, but there's some academic vocabulary we can learn that's going to help us as well. So as with yesterday, I will say the objectives and please repeat them after me. My turn. I can learn academic vocabulary. Your turn. My turn. So I can use academic language in discussions and writing. Your turn. My turn. I am successful when I write my academic vocabulary and definitions in my reading notebook. Your turn. All right, so we've got our routine established. We're learning some more vocabulary. Uh, today's vocabulary is academic vocabulary. That just means that it's uh, more generalized terms are not domain specific like science words. They're words you can use over all types of different um, subjects. Why are we doing that? So that we can use those smart words when we're talking and writing so everyone knows how brilliant we are, right? And our first step to learning them is to write down the word and their definition in our notebook. All right, I hope you have your notebook and that you're ready to go. If not, pause the video, go grab your supplies. We are going to learn some academic vocabulary today, and it's a shorter list than yesterday, so it should go fast. All right, as with yesterday on each keyword, as soon as I say the word, give yourself a one, two, or three. How well do you know it? Right? This is just kind of a little pre-thought for you, you can say, hey, I know this word really well already. This should be easy come, come the end of the week when we get a test. Or mm, I only know this word a little. Maybe I need to do some studying with this word. Or I've never heard this word at all. So this is a completely new word for me to learn for the vocabulary assignment and to learn how to, to use this in my discussions and writing when I speak and when I write. All right. So our first word today, alter. Alter. A L T E R. Now we had alternate just, I think, last week, week before. As a vocabulary word, we had alternate. So alter is definitely related. You can see they have a shared word part alter. Alter, two syllables, is a verb and it means to change something. Right? When you have an alternative, you had another choice. Right? This is the verb part of that alter to change something, to give yourself another choice, right? To change something so that you have more than one choice. Alter. Mice alter a dress for Cinderella to wear to the ball, right? They change it. Alter. If you need more time with alter, go ahead and pause the video right here. Otherwise, we're going to move on to our next word. And our next word is occur. Occur, O-C-C-U-R, occur. How well do you know that? Have you heard occur, occur before? Have you used it before? Completely new word for you. Occur is a verb and it means happen, right? If something occurs, it happens. It just means something happens, right? A sunrise occurs every morning, right? Occur. A sunrise happens every morning. Notice you can just place that definition right in the spot for it. A sunrise happens every morning. A sunrise occurs every morning, just as a sunset occurs every evening. Rain rarely occurs in the desert. It doesn't happen very often, right? Occur. If you need more time with occur, please go ahead and pause your video now. Our next word, state. State. Now I'm not talking about the state of Nevada. I'm talking about the state of something. How well do you know state? How well do you think you know state? State. One syllable, it's a noun. And it's the way something is at a certain time. Right? If water is frozen, water in its frozen state right? The way it is when it's frozen is called ice, right? That's its solid form. State, the way something is at a certain time. 
if you could see me right now and I had my video on, you would see that my hair is in quite the state because I haven't combed it since I woke up this morning yet. Yep, let me anonymous Hensley secrets. I braided it last night, have messed with it today yet. State. These children are in a happy state, right? That's the way they are right now. We can tell they're in a happy state because they're all smiling. State. The way something is at a certain time. And okay, notice this is the noun for it. Sorry, I have dogs. This is the noun form, right? If I state something, then I'm saying something, and that's the verb form. Okay, let's move on. Now that Wrinkles and Missy Moo have said hi, our next word is substance. How well do you know substance? S U B S T A N C E, substance. Substance, two syllables, is a noun, and it's just the material that something is made of. Right? The substance my water jug is made of is metal. Mm -hmm. The substance my computer keyboard is made of is plastic, right? It's the material something is made of. The substance books are made of is paper or trees, if you really want to go, go deep. Substance, the material something is made of. Snow is a cold substance, right? Right, so now we're talking about the characteristic of the substance. Snow is a cold substance. Substance. If you need more time for substance, go ahead and pause the video. Our next word is trap. Trap. How well do you know trap? It's a trap. T-R-A-P. Trap. Trap is a verb, and it means to catch something and not let it go. So some of you might have recognized that, that line. It's a trap from Star Wars. If you didn't, I'm sorry for you. You should watch Star Wars. It's good. Trap means to catch something and not let it go. Okay? So you can use cheese to trap mice, right? Mice get drawn in by the cheese. You have it on a trap, the trap catches them and it won't let them go. So notice that trap, the action, is uh, a verb and it's trap, but also the thing that you use to catch something and not let it go is the noun form and it's also a trap, right? To tra catch something and not let it go. The verb is the act of doing it, the noun is the thing that does it, right? That's the, the device. All right, that's our last word for today's vocabulary, which means it's our last word for this first week's vocabulary. I hope you guys are super excited to do matter. Um, I am. I love this unit. It's super interesting to me because I love science. I hope you do too. And I will be back with you, if not in recording next week, then the week after. But, you know, me and my vocabulary, I like, I like to teach y'all. Hope you're liking learning it. Bye.